Baby, I have no other idea to do a Halloween special vid. I can, however, tell you the urban legend of Kamo. A long time ago, Kamo used to be a different entity. A glorious being, a powerful force that transcended the laws of nature and the realm of us, the mortals. A strong and brave warrior but he was also a sad man. He lost all his loved ones. And he was the only one left. He had nothing left to live for, which he made a choice. A very terrible, self-destructive choice, I may add. He wanted to be like everyone else. Wanted to have a body... A physical form and the ability to experience the maintenance pleasures of life. So, he decided to face life herself, convincing her to turn him into death. I do apologize to interrupt your work, my lady. I am in a bit of a struggle having no one else to supply me. And I am the only person left out of my family living in this hell we all call Earth. Is there anything you can do to help ease my pain? Kamo, what you're asking of me is not only out of this, or any world's power, but it's also out of very dark magic I cannot undo or take back. I can't bear the thought of giving you what you wish that you may regret. I just can't do such a thing. Please, I'm begging you. There is no one waiting for me, and I have no one at home to go to. Very well. She then casted a dark, secret spell upon Kamo. He then transformed into what we call death, we all know today. With her help, he turned into the undead, the one who feeds on the living and the dying gaining of a new lease on life, a new purpose. He could no longer be tamed, controlled, or contained. He was free to roam the earth to devour with a smile on his face, to bask in the glory of destruction he brought about. Kamo, I mean, death, he was the ultimate hunter, the cruel and unforgiving executioner of all who crossed paths with him. Now, no one knows who this person was, what their name, what they sounded like, or nothing. But this greater force saw death and saw fit to challenge death in this very domain. And his reign was then short-lived. Death was soon forced to flee, to hide, to dodge every shot this greater force aimed at him. But he knew one day he would emerge from wherever he is hiding in to claim his rightful place as the ultimate force of evil. Some say he will do it with vengeance. Some say he would strike with fury that would shatter every fabric of any existence. And all who dared stand in his way would pay the price. He is the ultimate symbol of death. People still fear him, and they still hate him. But of course, he is the Reaper. He has no heart left for anything else. Thank you for telling my old story, Big Mama. You're welcome, CapCut. And thank you for writing it.